Another uh, really good technique to train flares is on your elbows. If you have, uh, if you injured your wrist, right? And you could do flares or you could do one flare or two flare. A really good way to keep your flares going without taking a lot of uh, downtime to heal is to do elbow flares. Uh, this is the same sort of uh, technique as flares, but it's on your elbows. So I'll just demonstrate how you would do this on your elbows. And especially like me, like I've injured my wrists often throughout my years of training flares and power moves, like it just happens. Uh, you constantly have to strengthen your wrists, but when you do get injured, thank goodness that you can still condition because the G-Force allows you to rehabilitate and that is awesome so that you don't have to ever stop training strap in for elbows i suggest you start off either in the front or from the side so from the front i'll show you from here you're gonna push up with your right if i'm going counterclockwise i'm gonna show you counterclockwise so push up with your right elbow, right, over, whip, and land with your left elbow to gain support and balance. So from here, you can go and do another round. So left leg, right arm down, right? This is like doing it in slow motion, but you have to do a lot faster for it to actually work. So right arm, left, right leg kick, left leg, right, Just whip. And eventually, when your wrist starts to heal and you feel confident that you can flare again, you just push up, left arm up, right arm down, back to flare, right? And go back down. Hey, thanks for watching guys and I hope to create more tutorials with the G-Force and without it. I also plan to expand the G-Force tutorials and tutorials in general, not just focused on me, but different body types, different b-boys, uh, and yeah, so that we can have a more comprehensive uh, look at these moves with different body types and how to build upon these same techniques and concepts for everyone.